hello guys so first of all how it's gonna look like uh, so the character is gonna look like this and fire the gun and fire the gun during gun and you can change the gun fire it fire it fire it fire it run fire run fire station fire run fire I am using free assets from ish.io, the link to the assets are in the description. So first of all I am going to discuss the node hierarchy, the hierarchy, the node layout or whatever you call it. So I am using kinematic body, I have renamed it into character and nothing can see around here, it's just default kinematic body. Then I am using collision 2D and I have created rectangular shape and afterward I am using sprite not animated sprite just sprite and I have adjusted the values uh, here V frame 4, H frame 7 and it's not dependent on current frame so inside the player sprite, sprite or whatever you call I have created a node group uh, basically a node and I, I have renamed it into guns uh, in which I am using different sprite of guns that I have downloaded from itch.io and a position 2d node first AK47 also has animation uh, if I drag and drop for this, uh, this has got uh, I don't know. Oh, yes, uh, not this, the sprite sheet. So you can see it has got around 20 frames, uh, not this one, and it has gone to 48, but it's 47. So it has got around 12, 20 animation frame but I am not using it uh, here it is just zero and afterward there is nah, this is not in use camera tool is not going to be uh, useful here it just want me to see it during play time so I am using animation player for the animations so first of all idle idle is just animation for the character idle character uh, if uh, character has not got any gun then you can play this animation jump and run so these are the basic player correct uh, basic player animation or the character animation so now to the gun animation the gun idle animation going to be look like this uh, also I have to mention that I am using default with physics process mode on so gun idle have got the pair idle animation the gun position uh, basically in the gun node position which is uh, which is changing up and down see the value here changing up and down and I am uh, keying the frame value at 0 uh, to the both nodes the AK-47 and P-12 so you can just see uh, while uh, while it is in the gun idle, gun idle animation uh, it's going to be always in frame 0 So afterwards I am using gun run, gun run is basically the character and the position of the gun node which is also changing up and down. <laughs> then afterward I have created AK-47 fire, uh, Just I have just keyframed the main frames uh, which is around 11 to 19 not all 20 keyframes uh, the study has got the idle animation and the last frame is just 
the stopping animation of the gun and I am all I have also keyframed the position 2d it's just so that I can place the gun bullets in that position uh, during firing or muzzle flashes at that location uh, and I have created the uh, and I have also keyframed the player at zero keyframe basically uh, just the first frame of the animation of the player animation you can see okay this is not needed so this is all so in the P12 firing it has only got 4 frame and so P12 is just this so the gameplay is gonna look like this I am using the middle frame and the first frame of the coin I am also using animation tree uh, so this is the just player idle animation but I am not using any player idle animation I am using gun animation that's why I created the gun animation so in the animation tree while active you can see the gun run the gun idle Peter firing P12 run firing AK47 fire for that I have to turn on the sprite and, uh, and run firing here AK47 fire and that's all uh, I have also created you know, two state machine basically I have added two state which is P12 fire and run animation which is gun run so you can see when I uh, use this similarly here AK47 fire and run this is uh, the animation of running firing and run Uh, how to create this just add blend tree edit it add animation whatever animation you want animation then add to and another animation whatever animation you want and just connect it and it will create the blend tree So this is all for the state and I have connected it using sync uh, for the fire and for whatever firing is connecting to the gun run because I want it in a sync state and rest is just immediate. Okay, now to the code. Okay, I have created enum. Let's zoom it a little bit. So I have created enum called guns, and I have placed AK-47 and P-12 here. So the current gun is current one the P-12. Run firing false uh, state firing false it's also another state so I have also created a variable on ready which is loading the animation of animation tree this and by using get parameters playback and at the ready function I am using anim the start gun idle basically starting it with the gun idle animation then into the input uh, which is uh, the keyboard or the mouse or whatever device you are using for the input for example joypad can also be used for input 
but input event is key if it's UI left and uh, inside um, that means if I have press UI left uh, basically these codes can be changed up to your need uh, some people prefer different type of code using the input I do prefer different type of code but I am using it just to showcase uh, just to simplify uh, what is going on in this current scene so if I am pressing left uh, if it's firing uh, match the current gun and if it's P12 then travel to the P12 gun run fire means if I am pressing left and it's firing then use the run and fire animation and check whatever gun that is use that animation else travel to gun run basically without firing and paired or scale minus one basically just flipping the character but then if I am using similarly with the right if it's firing check which gun it is and play that animation otherwise use gun run and player dot scale basically flipping the player and if I have released those keys check if it's firing the if it's not firing then travel to the gun idle animation firing falls and if it's firing then check which gun it is and use simple idle animation idle fire animation so now to the weapon switch yes you can also switch weapon in the game check the gun whatever gun it is uh, just switch the current gun and uh, show that gun hide the current gun you are uh, holding and similarly with the K47 if we say K47 current gun become P12 show P12 and hide a K47 so up to the firing key mouse button which fire firing true get current note uh, if it's not gun run uh, so basically if it's not running it's in idle position uh, just play that animation of the gun basically idle fire animation if the current node is gun run basically if the animation is gun run if the player is running in holding gun then run fire is equal to true match the current gun and uh, here firing is also going to be true uh, match the current gun animation if it's p12 use p12 fire run if it's ak47 use fire ak47 run and when the function is uh, when the mouse button is released uh, basically the fire button is released firing becomes false if it's not run firing basically um, player is in idle and idle position so the animation goes to gun idle animation and if it's run firing basically player is running and we switch off the firing then the animation become gun run basically running with the gun so you can even trim down this code using a function and placing that code here then you can just remove this code and instead use gun anim yeah and it will just check that code basically you are saving the duplicate code space but I have created like this so that it will be easier for you to understand what's happening in this thing so yeah this is what it's all about yep switching the gun firing the gun 
running firing run fire and yeah so that's all for this video i hope you have learned something and please like share subscribe and help me to reach 1k thank you